Welcome back. Temperatures are heating up on this Wednesday, and if you look closely, you can even see the clouds already starting to bubble up. Just if you look at it very closely, them bubbling up from here and there, we are seeing a mixture of clouds and sunshine. So let's go ahead and rewind to earlier this morning, and you'll notice those clouds kind of moving in and out. If you look at the ground here, pretty neat with the shadow on the ground from the clouds, flat on the bottom, puffy on the top. Not a lot of rain yet, a few sprinkles here and there, but as we head into the latter part of the afternoon hours today, we will see more in the way of rain and those clouds kind of in and out today. So heating up, cooling down, we're pretty warm out there. We'll look at the numbers after we take a look at the clouds elsewhere around the region. In the PD, a nice mixture of clouds and sunshine, mainly cloudy skies from time to time as well out there. And the denser clouds and the bulk of the rain that will be eventually headed towards us is still pretty far away. This afternoon, our moisture levels have gone up since we since what we saw in recent days. So that's why today a slightly better chance of scattered showers and storms. A couple of light specks of green on the map currently. That's probably just a little bit of drizzle or ground clutter, but let's see if any of this is reaching the ground and there probably is one very tiny shower to the north of North Myrtle Beach. It'll probably dissipate very quickly. Also, a couple of showers in Columbus and Brunswick County, but all in all quiet as far as Titan radar goes. However, later today, once those temperatures continue to rise, we'll see about a 30% shot of seeing those scattered showers and thunderstorms even tonight, especially early on. That chance will continue. Temperatures are, have climbed into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. We'll stay there at the beach. However, we'll continue to heat up in inland spots. 88 already in Sumter, 90 in Conway and 88 in Lumberton. Let's take you through the day now on our day planners. Scattered showers and storms in the forecast, as I mentioned. We'll see that sea breeze kicking in, capping our temperatures in the upper 80s. Inland spots will climb into the lower 90s, so believe it or not, this is closer to normal. It's hard to remember, though, considering how hot it has been this summer. Now, that rain I showed you, it's associated with the frontal boundary, still far away. However, it's eventually going to be on the move starting later tonight, which is why we'll see those storms potentially late night tonight, and then eventually as we head into the day on Thursday, an even better chance, and this system extends very far off to the south. We're tracking a lot of moisture, some very heavy rain, tropical moisture from the remnants of Tropical Depression 5 last week, and this is all shifting eastward. So we're going to kind of catch a break with the rain as we head into the lighter part of the day on Friday, but as we head into the weekend, those chances will increase again, especially on Sunday, it appears. So let's take you through the time framing. Today, we'll be dealing with scattered storms. Better chance on Thursday. Friday early on a better chance and then rain scattered about throughout the weekend better chance on Sunday. Also, we want to keep you informed on the tropics. We're keeping a close eye on the region off the coast of Africa. A couple of waves here and there. The environment right now may not be too favorable for development. However, a couple of the very reliable computer models indicate that one of these waves that either went offshore or one that is about to move ashore could develop into something tropical in the upcoming days. And this is a region that typically does develop this time of year. So we'll keep a close eye on it and update you if anything changes. Let's take a look at future track now and take you through the day today and also tomorrow. More clouds today, mixture clouds and sunshine, scattered storms this afternoon. By tonight, most of those storms will be gone early on, but a slight chance, especially inland and in the border belt, some more rain more rain and clouds out there on Thursday, and then that system is on the move. So that's good news for Friday. Rain chance is dropping off, and the best chance is going to be early on. So if you're like a lot of people, probably have plans Friday night. Not looking too bad as of right now. Let's check out your beach forecast for today. Temperatures will be climbing into the upper 80s, lower 90s inland, 92 in Lumberton, 92 in Florence. Temperatures tonight will be bottoming out in the mid to upper 70s. Very similar to what we saw this morning. Very humid out there too with some redevelopment in those storms late night tonight, perhaps. Here's your beach forecast for today. A little breezy out there, not choppy on the waters at all, though. One to two foot waves. Look at that water temperature, 85 degrees now. Here's your beach forecast over the next seven days. As I mentioned, Thursday, best chance for those showers and storms. By Friday, some improvements late in the day. And this weekend, it's looking pretty good with temperatures staying right around 89, 88 degrees. Inland spots climbing into the lower 90s with some scattered storms today. Not a lot of rain, but we haven't seen a lot in recent days. So this could seem like a lot more if you do get under one of those showers or storms. Now, I need to cut my grass. I was trying to do it tomorrow, but it sounds like I should do it today. Either today or Friday, but Friday mm. is Friday. You don't want to do that I got Friday. stuff to do Friday. Exactly. All right, Lindsay, thank you very much.